So I thought I would go ahead and record another commentary for this video. Um, this one is going to be following the last video where you saw me in California. Uh, this first clip, as you can see here, was actually from Boss Barber Club. I um, thought I would include this because it technically was in this week, although I also did put it in the last video. Um, I included that little time lapse I made at the start there um, because that was a pretty good day. Uh, we went up to the Golden Gate Bridge on that day and we had put the GoPro on like the wing mirror, not the wing mirror, like the inside mirror um, to make a little time lapse of like the road because it's very scenic as you get quite close to it. Um, and then we were obviously going to have time lapse going over the bridge and all that stuff. Uh, but what actually happened is the battery ran out after about like 10 minutes. <laughs> so we actually only just got like some random road on about 20 minutes away so but I included it anyway because <laughs> it was cool and it was a good time you know um, I'm missing being in California already and I'm just really excited to be moving out there shortly um, but yeah so far so good on uh, this week actually really really happy with how everything has gone um, I've definitely recovered from just trying to kill myself last week at boss um, I think Nani has too, maybe she's still a little bit more fatigued than I am, um, but her training is like kind of getting back into things now, which is good, um, and mine is, this is in the same way. I've got, uh, we both have another week before we deload, um, so it's kind of cool to just keep pushing it a little bit and see where I can come out with that. Um, it's nice to feel a bit more recovered. I'm eating uh, more consistently, although I think I was definitely eating better when I was out there in terms of having more calories, but now I'm just trying to be more consistent. Um, and make sure that I can keep my body weight where it's at. Uh, I've actually decided that uh, Raw Nationals this year is probably going to be my last meet at 105. Um, I was planning to continue till uh, the Arnold next year, but I figured as it's a walks competition, it really doesn't matter, you know, because the, the competition is 105, 120, and 120 plus um, in the heavyweight division. So it really doesn't make a difference for me. Um, but yeah, so I'm pretty excited for that. Um, so it's going to be good and I'm excited for everything that's going to come this year. Um, the move to California is obviously going to be a big one um, and then looking to compete in the in the short term and the long term as well. Uh, but getting back to the footage, as you can see there, I failed that bench with 363. Um, my hamstring cramped up really badly um, and I just wasn't able to make the lift. Um, it was actually kind of a shitter because I ended up hurting my shoulder a little bit, which has been bugging me since then. Um, and I ended up using my uh, straps, my deadlift straps, uh, tied them around my hamstring there and I was able to make like a, I guess some compression uh, to help me get through it. But you know, overall not too disappointed. I hit 3.53 and I had been on the plane for about 10 hours the day before and I barely slept. Um, so all in all, can't really complain. Uh, but then these squats here moved really well. This was the following day after that. Uh, again, I'd had about another 10 to 12 hours of sleep, eating a good four or 5,000 calories. I was feeling a lot better. Um, and so I cranked out this, I think it's 490, I wanna say for um, three sets of three. Um, really, really pleased with that, um, considering how everything has been. Um, but yeah, I really couldn't be any more happier, you know, transitioning back to terrible equipment from all comp equipment, usually you get some kind of drop off. Uh, but overall, this was really, really great. Um, and it shows me that I'm in a good place going forward and definitely when you remove the fatigue I've got a lot of uh, a lot of strength that's, that I've built up I suppose um, and then this was for sure the highlight of uh, being back in the UK um, this 650 pause deadlift really really pleased with that uh, my technique's getting a lot better since I moved my grip out um, I use straps for all of these because my hands are just getting wrecked again by the weather um, and the Alico just shredded them the previous week I then followed that up with a set of four with 595 pause, really good again, getting my hips down a little bit lower, um, obviously a lot of room to go with that, but definitely finding a little bit of a better position and finding some more strength there too, um, especially towards the top end of the rep. Um, and then some block pulls, loaded up terribly because I was just being lazy at this point, really tired and the gym was getting crowded so I just wanted to get out of there. Um, but those felt good and my grip seems to be holding up with them. Um, overall really not that much content this week to be honest, um, I didn't film that much um, and I, what I did film I ended up deleting by accident. Um, so then right here you can see my final day of the week, um, these were comp squats up to 473 I believe uh, for sets of 4, really honestly moved so well, um, I kind of as I was warming up but they felt kind of slow but they ended up actually being really really good um, and I was really happy with the way that these all moved, um, again just 
progressing at a rate which I couldn't even have expected. Um, and I move my grip in on squats as well, and this is helping me get a little bit tighter. Makes the weight feel a lot lighter when I on rack, so that's definitely a nice thing. Uh, the only bad thing about this day was the bench was just absolutely terrible. Um, worked up to 313 for a top set of four. Um, honestly, can't really understand what's happening with my bench, what's happening because I was progressing so well. Um, I've kind of just hit a wall with 363. Um, but my rep work seems to be moving on pretty well. Uh, but at the same time, I'm not able to consistently keep up with, um, you know, with with being able to match the, the progression I'm seeing in my reps in the singles. Um, and that's obviously something that's really frustrating and something that I'm going to have to figure out. Um, I might you know, maybe try some different things with bench, um, but we'll see. I mean, I'm going to keep stick with it, uh, stick with what I've programmed for myself for bench for the rest of the training cycle, um, and then see if maybe we need to add something different in to um, try and facilitate that progression, because if I feel like if I can get my bench up around 400, you know, I'm going to be getting a lot more competitive, because that's uh, 20, 30 pounds of where I estimate my bench to be right now. I estimate my bench to be about 375 to 385, if I peaked it um, and if I can get it up to about 400 um, then really the, you know that's going to help me out a lot and I think I'm going to be a lot more competitive on the bench press and I'm going to be able to put myself in a much better position when it comes down to deadlifts um, and you know as I approach that 800 mark on deadlifts that's really going to be you know the key factor if I can get my squats continuing to progress that 600 mark is coming soon um, and the, the 750 800 is going to come soon on deadlifts too um, but the bench just isn't moving in the same way so I need to figure that one out um, but all in all a good week um, take another week off as we approach all these competitions in 2018 um, so you know excited to keep going one more week of training for this program um, before we deload and have a little test to see where things are at um, so I'm really excited for both of those things and then you know we'll see what we're going to do with everything going forward um, but basically just ready for it to be April and for me to be going back out to the States um, so stay tuned um, I'm glad to be getting back on track with these videos there will be another update from me next Sunday so look out for that um, please like comment subscribe and follow me on Instagram thanks for watching guys